Hi folks, I just want to give you a quick lesson in how to submit queries in Paideia. Queries, of course, are what I call questions or comments that you make in the chat feature that's within the app. So if I'm looking at the main Paideia page, or really anywhere in Paideia, you'll always have this blue toolbar that flies out from the right-hand side of the screen. All you have to do is mouse over it or click on it, and the toolbar pops out, and you can see the top line says Queries. If I click on that, then the Queries panel comes out, and I can see all of the chat threads, the discussions. There are two tabs at the top here, General, and that's questions or comments, not about a particular uh, path or step, but just about the app in general. And then if I click All Steps, that gives me all of the, the questions or comments that anybody has made, all of their queries, on any step uh, or any path in the app. So these are specific questions about particular interactions. You'll notice that there are four tabs across here. The first one is Me, and that's where you'll see any questions or comments that I've made, uh, in this case about a particular step, or if I click General, That'll show you any questions or comments that I've made just in general. And in this case, I haven't made any general comments. But when I click All Steps, you can see I have uh, asked a question about or made a comment about one particular path. Uh, if I go back to general here, what I can do is if I want to ask a new question or make a new comment, just click on this button and type in the form. And if I want only my instructor to be able to see my question, I can click keep this question or comment private. But it's a good idea to leave your questions or comments public as much as possible so that other classmates and other students, other users, can uh, help you with uh, answers. Uh, it's not just all up to your instructor to give answers. So if I want to make it a, a general uh, comment, I can just type in here, here's a test comment, and I'm going to keep this private, and I click Submit My Query, and now that appears right away in my uh, Me tab. Now, there are uh, some other tabs here. You won't likely have the Students tab, because that's only for instructors, uh, but you if you're part of a course group, you'll also have the Classmates tab, and that shows you for each class that you're part of the course group for. Um, that shows you queries that have been posted by your own classmates. And so that's where you can go to look for a, a question that you can help somebody answer. Uh, and you can click on Others, and that shows questions that people have asked uh, who aren't part of your own uh, class group just anyone in general. Now, this is all if you're not actually working on a particular uh, path or step at the moment. If I go to the map, and I, let's go to Hey Agora, uh, and I decide to answer this uh, question, and I'm gonna answer it incorrectly, deliberately. I'm going to put Epsilon Delta and I'm gonna to forget to put on the rough breathing mark for the he sound. Now I submit my reply. Uh, on, I'm close, and it gives me the correct answer. But say I don't understand that uh, correct response. I don't know what I did wrong. Then while I'm on this page, I click Queries. And now you can see there's another tab up at the top here, this step. And what that shows me is all of the queries that anybody has posted, publicly at least, that are specifically about this particular step. And sometimes, if some of your classmates or others have posted queries on it, uh, you can see there the answer to your question. But if not, you click on me, and then I can ask a, a, a specific question about this step. And one of the things that this uh, helps with for your instructor is it shows your instructor exactly what you said, exactly what step you were on, 
what the score evaluation was and all that kind of thing. And in fact, your instructor can then go in and adjust your score if you think that there was a problem with the scoring or you think your answer should have been allowed. Your instructor has the, the latitude to, to make those adjustments for you, but only if you submit a query while you're still on that step attempt. Okay. Uh, so the only other thing to, to notice here is let me go back out of here to the home page. The only other thing to notice here is that uh, you can restrict your reading to just unread posts. So if I go uh, here to, to me uh, and I click here, mark as read, then the comment uh, moves from uh, green to blue and you can see the little unread uh, indicator in my me tab disappears. And that's how you, you can tell if somebody has replied to your question. You just come in here, look at the me tab under general and under all steps. And you can see, all right, I asked a, a question about a step that is unread for me. And that may just mean that I haven't read it yet, but it also might mean that somebody, including my instructor, has replied to it with a comment. Uh, and uh, I can add replies down here. Uh, so if uh, they have replied to me, I've, uh, I've read the reply, then I can mark this uh, query as read and the unread in indicator disappears from here. Okay. So in general, uh, to ask questions, to make comments, you just want to click on the queries the button, open the queries panel, make sure that you have the right uh, category of queries selected at the top, and then either look at your classmates' queries, uh, queries by others, or your own queries. And if you don't want to see anything that you've already read, you just click only unread, and that filters out everything you've looked at so far. All right. Hope that uh, helps a lot, and I'll see you in the queries.